you need to think about sustainable passion. <laughs> to another of these behind the business vlogs. I wanna start doing these more regularly because you all seem to really enjoy it, but the most important thing for me is that they are still valuable and that you are getting something out of it. So the way I've kind of decided to do them is to really have a theme for each of the vlogs to really be teaching a lesson, but also obviously because they are behind the scenes of my business and my life, I wanna have that theme in line with something that is going on currently within my business. And that kind of brings me to the topic of today's vlog because I just had a really, really exciting two hour intensive me where I dive deep with my clients to get them going in the right direction with advice or unblocking anything that is holding them back. And this morning I had a really, really great two hour intensive with one of my actual Game Changer clients um, from the Game Changer course. And we really were able to come to a position where she could move confidently forward because what she was kind of, you could say struggling with more so was the fact that she had so many passions and she just really didn't know which to choose, which was gonna be sustainable and which to go ahead with for a business. So that's what we were able to come together with um, to the conclusion of and that's really what I want to talk about today. If you are multi-passionate, how do you go about building a business without leaving pieces of yourself behind or you know the worry that you've made the wrong decision? So we'll talk a little bit about that later on. I as I said pretty much this morning have just been doing the two hour intensive. I've got a bit a lunch later which I am really excited about and I pretty much at the moment I'm just working plugging away at those emails and trying to get the boring admin stuff out the way so I can have a creative afternoon. So I guess I should explain what it is that we are doing because basically the last clip you would have seen was of me introducing this vlog about two days ago. So much stuff actually happened and I didn't get to vlog again but today's going to be a really exciting day. George and I are actually flying to Sydney so if you're not familiar with Australia, Sydney is just an hour above Melbourne where we live. And we are heading today to go to just a couple of meetings. As you know, I will be starting the podcast in a couple of weeks, um, which I'll tell you a little bit more about a bit later, but we're going to a meeting for that. And then we have another meeting for YouTube. That'll be super exciting. Then we are spending the rest of the weekend there with some of George and I's friends, or George's friends from the UK, which I have now adopted as my own. Um, so we are a really cool weekend, which I'm excited to take you along for. We're just waiting for our coffee now because I'm in desperate need of some caffeine. So I love that now we've started, you know, George doing all the filming and me being in front of the camera, but that also now means that I need to do all of the heavy lifting and carrying pretty much all of the bags because George is like, I've got the camera, I can't do it. <laughs> up with our first meeting of the day which was so 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 good so the first meeting I can't remember if I said or not was actually all about the podcast that I'm gonna be starting that will actually be in the next couple of weeks which I'm super excited about now I will notify everyone when the podcast has launched here on my YouTube channel but also if you do tend to miss the video or whatever um, you can sign up to my email list to get notifications on the podcast and pretty much everything else that I do as well as inspiration and motivation and advice and things like that so I'll leave the link to my email list down below that you can sign up for and then you'll be notified as soon as the podcast launched and launches as soon as the podcast launches and I'm super excited about it but now I'm going to make George take me shopping. 
seriously, some people just need a high five in the face with a chair. <laughs> Friday. I pretty much just wanted to jump on and say happy Friday to you. In all honesty, it's because George is actually recording a vlog right now and we kind of wanted to get a bit of me doing a Snapchat in, so this is just going to be awkward on both parts. <laughs> Seriously, George and I were sitting here for like... <sighs> so basically, George and I have been sitting here for like five minutes being like, oh, it'd be really cool if we could start this clip with me doing some type of like Instagram story because that like really shows because obviously I'm always on Instagram stories, which by the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, you should definitely do so because that's where I usually do all of my inspirational rants. But I was trying to think of something to say for so long and I'm like, okay, I'm just going to say that I'm trying to record an Instagram story and that can be what I say. But anyway, that was a bit random. Um, so what I kind of wanted to do was, it is, I, I'm obviously now back in my office. I'm so sorry I didn't record more in Sydney, but George and I recorded so much footage on the plane and so much B-roll of like the plane, uh, sorry, the Sydney Harbour House and stuff. And the camera ended up running out of battery. We ended up charging it, but the rest of the weekend was not vlog worthy because we pretty much sat around and drank beers and went on coastal walks. So wasn't really behind the business. It was really relaxing though, and I really, really enjoyed it. But what I kind of wanted to do was really have a step into my office. <laughs> and that's what that just felt like, like step into my office. Anyway, what I wanted to do was kind of talk about you know, if you are multi-passionate and you want to be starting a business, how do you really go about kind of choosing which direction to go in? You know, you hear all of these gurus talking about find your niche, find your passion, find your purpose, you know, find your focus. And that is something that I totally agree with. But why I'm so passionate about teaching about personal branding in particular is yes, of course, it is important to be clear and cohesive and concise about what you are going to do with your business and what your business can help other people to achieve. When you're multi-passionate, the good thing about having a personal brand is you are not needing to neglect all of those other areas of your personality. Yes, you have a business or a service where it's like, hey, I can help you with that one specific problem because it just makes it clear for everyone who's attracted to your message. When you're showing up on your Instagram stories or your YouTube channel or all this stuff, you don't have to leave those other interests behind. So if you are multi-passionate and you're really struggling to decide what it is that you're going to do with your business, but how you can incorporate those other dimensions of who you are, the best thing to do is really to sit down and think about the three P's of of, you know choosing a niche so you've got to really think about passion but not just passion as in interested in something you know I've been interested in a lot of things throughout my life you need to think about sustainable passion something that you could start a business around that is going to be you'd be interested in for the long term not just something you're interested in now something you can see yourself being interested in for the long term and then next you've got to think about profitability is it something that people are actually actively searching for? Is it something that people are actually going to pay for? Are they going to get their credit cards out and actually come searching for you? You know, can you be found in the Google search algorithm for that particular problem? And then the third one is problem. Is there an actual problem there? Not only is it profitable, but you know, are, is there urgency around that? Are people actually, you know, not suffering, but are people actually experiencing trouble with something that you can provide a solution for? So when you're thinking about all of your multi-passions, think about those three Ps and think about which one is going to be able to build the most sustainable business for you. Which one are you going to be able to create an empire around and really attract people and be able to show up and serve them? Doesn't mean you're not gonna be able to talk about, you know, all of these other things you're interested in, knitting, underwater, basket weaving, wine, travel, dogs, you know, all of those things, art, DIY, hairdressing, beauty, all of whatever you're interested in. It doesn't mean that you need to leave that part behind, but it doesn't mean you need to start a business in them either. So really thinking about your skills, really thinking about your passions, which one is going to be the most sustainable for you? Which one can you show up and create original content about? Which one are people actively searching for a solution for? And which one are they able to get a credit card out for and say, cha-ching, I wanna pay you money, please help me. 
So if you wanted to kind of keep this discussion going or if you had, I guess, a specific maybe couple of passions you wanted to chat about then please do feel free to reach out to me either in the comments below on instagram or on facebook direct message or in the group wherever you know where to find me please do reach out to me i love having this conversation with people i do obviously have the two hour intensive if you did want to go not only deep into finding out your passion i mean sorry finding out your sustainable interest and which is going to be most profitable for you but then building a strategy around that if you did want to go deeper into that, you're more than welcome. I do have the two-hour intensive sessions available, but if you kind of just wanted some suggestions in the direction of which to go, reach out to me on social media and we can absolutely have a chat. This clip is getting long AF, so thank you. I'm going to leave it here. Thank you so much for watching the vlogs. I really hope you enjoy them. Next week, we're actually going to be talking all about building a website, building a blog, because that's what I'm currently doing for the Erin May Henry part of my business and the podcast. So again, sign up for the pod. There's like 50,000 CTAs in this hand clip. Sorry about it. But please, in the description, sign up to get notified about the podcast. Hold tight for next week's vlog. Turn on those notifications. Let's just be friends everywhere. I don't know what else to say. Come on. CTAs, thank you so much for watching, everyone. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>